Whatever they look like, whenever they're built, the four new LRT lines crisscrossing Toronto will bear the TTC logo and will be run by the city's transit commission. The TTC will be responsible for vehicle operators, station operations including ticket staff, safety and enforcement, and dispatch and control of vehicle access. After weeks of haggling, concerns that riders would have to pay two fares and assurances that they wouldn't, the TTC has gotten its way, mostly. The private sector will design, build, finance, and maintain these four LRT lines. Luckily, the now resolved battle won't slow construction. The Shepherd East LRT line is still set to open in 2021. The Scarborough RT replacement, Finch West, and Eglinton Scarborough Crosstown LRT lines will all open in 2020. When you're transforming transit, it doesn't come without a few bumps along the road. While some on council would rather the TTC had nothing to do with the new lines. I don't believe that the TTC has a, a really good track record of, especially right now, in terms of operating transit. This business owner at Eglinton and Keel is happy with the decision. Privatizing the, uh, the LRT, we don't know. We don't know, you know, it's what kind of service we're going to be getting. But he worries about whether the Eglinton Crosstown line will make it tougher to draw in customers off the sidewalk eight years from now. Well, this bus stop is very beneficial for my business, but with the LRT, all this is going to go underground. Now, the major wild card here is phase two of that line. Still unfunded, no operator definitively picked, but the hope is that it'll eventually lead to an expansion all the way to Pearson Airport. It's unclear who will operate that portion, but the city of Mississauga is keeping a close eye on it. We're really encouraging the province and, and TTC to really advance that component of the Eglinton LRT. Mark Carcassel, Global News.